Now here's a contraption for putting a, a steering motor on the tractor. This is the steering column on a uh, John Deere SD2 kind of cabin. So um, this sprocket up here was just made for uh, strapping to the steering wheel. It's a three, three spoke steering wheel, so we just strap it around there. And the general idea here is to um, this is the locked position when it's not engaged and then the, there's a spring back here that will keep keep the motor away from the from the sprock from the column and this little thing here will has a little hook down here so it will keep things apart and it's not rattling around or anything uh, the idea here is to have the motor on the upper side of this of the column so the driver is actually on this side so um just to get rid of having anything to hit your knee when you're leaving the cabin and so on you just put the motor up there and uh, the the motor itself is not so long that you, it will affect the the possibility to adjust the steering wheel up and down it will actually the, it's made to not hit the panel when you push it to the bottom there so when you uh, when this this is in the resting position when it's not engaged and uh, this little hook here keeps it in position in tension with this spring there and then when you want to engage you first lift this hook like that so it's free to move and then you just push it down so you make everything go like that so you engage the sprockets to each other and then just to make them stay together you fold down this latch again and as you can see the hook is now on the inside it was on the outside before so now it's on the inside so it's keeping everything together and of course the reason for this thing being red is that that's the emergency disengage you just flip this switch here like that and the the tension in the spring will make the th th sprockets go apart so you have kind of an emergency disengage there so that's the general idea now all that remains is to build it in the real world